Hi, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel and today's video is about a review um, of um, cheese tart um, that is um, a Japanese signature. It's called Pablo. So it's right here. This is the box of the cheesecake or cheese tart. And um, so let's begin. Okay. So we purchased, um, my daughter and I, both, um, we did two purchases. Um, we bought two of the, um, the, the large cheese tart and, um, because that is the limit, two, um, two big ones and, um, uh, one each of the, um, the, um, the mini tarts. Okay. So let's start with, um, this, um, and this is the size of the um the big cheese tart and it's not very big i think this is only four four inches but it's kind of thick like this so um it has like um crust like a pastry um crust and um the top is um yellowy jelly and that gives out the taste of like um, a little bit of lemony flavor so this is kind of like um what do i call this okay so <clears throat> it's more of a jelly it's very soft so i would say it's kind of like rare to um um medium rare type of thing um, and um, the yellow jelly is the one that gives up the, the flavor of um, the um, citrusy or lemony taste and it has also a um, stamp of Pablo right there so I would say it's good but um, if you don't like the um, the very soft um feeling so because it's it tastes more of like a pudding and um, instead of a, a real cheesecake and this one is called um the premium okay let me put down the camera okay now this is the um the premium which is um, also the size is about, it's a little bit bigger than the, um, the original. So this is probably like um, six inch. And so this is how thick it is. Um, and it has a very, um, also like a hard um, pastry. And then above on top is, um, it's uh, those um, caramel or sugar, a thing that you um you um sometimes put on the cream caramel and it makes the um, um it gives out a little bit more sugary taste but it's um it's crusty like it's hard right there and um so by the way this one here the original okay um i paid Seventeen fifty, seventeen dollars fifty cents Canadian, and um, this one here, the um, the premium. Okay, and it's about an inch bigger than the um, original. This cost like um, if it's not twenty six ninety nine, it's twenty seven ninety nine. So it's very pricey, but it's good, except that. Um, it tastes like, um, you know, your normal cheesecake that you would buy in the store. It's, uh, it has the same consistency like that. And there's the, um, the sugar crust or the, the caramel part. There we go. And you have to, once you, you, um, you come out of the store, they always tell you to, it is, it is, um, imperative that you put them in the, uh, in the fridge. And then um, this one is the, um, it's called the Basque, Basque Cheesecake. 
so um it has like cheese curds inside and it tastes very yummy and creamy it's good okay but it's more cakey and um the cheese is um um they are all like um it's it's not like very smooth but the cheese itself is smooth like um it's um curds like there's cheese curds inside and this one also is um this is 14.99 okay but i would i would buy this again instead of the original um because only because of the um the the pudding um the pudding consistency now they also have the mini tarts and here we go this is the strawberry um what i say is there's not a lot of cheesecake inside there's more of um pastry it looks like it's double pastry but also um this one here it's like a jelly and it has like three layers of sort of like um, jam and candy inside so it's like chewable it's it's um it's a chewy it's a chewy consistency and fresh strawberries and then there's kind of like um syrup um in there then here comes the um there's 25 dollars for six um it comes in this package right here so six of the minis um is 25 dollars canadian now this is the chocolate now this is a game changer it's very 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 good like i mean i've never had anything like this in my life before um we bought four of the chocolate and um we bought also the matcha right here this is a matcha and nothing really special it just tastes like um um what do you call this more of a matcha than kind of like they mix it with a cheesecake um matcha so it's kind of like pudding matcha inside so really it's not very nothing special about it so um but yeah this i would buy this again and the other thing is this is the original again this is probably like the same as this one the middle part because um they didn't have enough when we um when it was our turn mind you the lineup was um we lined we lined up for two hours and it's it feels like it's really chilly yesterday so um yeah i didn't know how much is the price so i lined up and maybe uh like you know had i known i would just kind of like wait for a month or two so again another mini over here this is the um, apple cinnamon so the apple cinnamon is also um one of the um the best i love it it's perfect the um the taste the consistency and the, like the apple around it it's, it's it's like a real apple with um with um um apple um apple uh like real apple bits and um their crusts are all the same the pastry and um it's just perfect i this are the stuff that i would buy again um the apple cinnamon and um the chocolate and then here comes the um the mango okay so it has like um mango bits there's a uh, mango squares and um the cheesecake and um and uh, again there's jelly mango jelly right there so but the, the you know the only thing is like there's so much crust and um it kind of like takes away the um you know the um the taste of the cheesecake so um you know overall i say um so this is um where they put the um the minis there's supposed to be six in there and again it's 25 dollars so it has a nice box and you know they kind of like secure the cheesecake so it won't move around and 
um, while you're bringing it at home. And this is the, again, the Basque cheese tart or cheesecake. And this is the premium. And this is the original. Um, and mango. Um, the matcha. Um, it's kind of like, not even so-so. I, I kind of like it. I, I like matcha, but not very strong. But if you're a matcha lover, then, you know, it's good. Then um, this one, I vote for this one. This is number one in my list. If I'm going to go back, I would have that. And, of course, the chocolate. It has the chocolate, um, the real chocolate cheesecake taste. And um, nothing but. So, there we go. So, So our bill right here is um, I bought two of the cheese, the big cheese tarts and um, one is um, $17.50 and the other one is $14.99 plus one of the uh, mini box. And I also bought two mini sets, which, which is just one mini and um, a coffee. So the coffee, they don't have cream and sugar, so just so you know that. But it's not a strong coffee, so it's kind of like really, you know, just to kind of like um, enhance the taste of the cheesecake. Um, I've never had this before. However, we, when my daughter and I went to um, to Japan, we wanted to go, but we didn't have a lot of time, so we couldn't go to Osaka to um, to visit the restaurant. And, um, yeah, so the bill for myself was $71, and I think it's very pricey for um, um, the cheesecake, um, you know, there's probably just more of, like, um, I want to taste it than, um, you know, paying for, uh, paying $71 for the, the, the um, like two big ones and um twenty uh, uh the the twenty five dollar box there. So anyway, yeah, um I would give it like just because I don't like everything. Okay, I love cheesecake, but I'm also not crazy about it. Um, but I can only pick three items that I like, like really really like, and I didn't order um uh, the drinks because it's very chilly yesterday and i i also saw some people um bought some of those some um, fruit um fruit drinks but i couldn't i'm very cold <laughs> so but anyway i would give it a seven if um if i may only because um um the cheesecake tastes good however um it's very pricey for its kind and for its size um there are other um cheesecakes that um are local or um or store bought or you can make them um because i'm big on making things um and i think um it's too much of a hype than um or being uh pablo it's a novelty for um asian or japanese and um and because I paid seventy one dollars for, for, you know, not a whole lot of cheesecake. So that's what. And um, service, um, I would give it like um, five, because um, we, the lineup was not even up for a hundred people that's out there waiting, and it's kind of like chilly outside. And they're also not really rushing, or um, the service is not fast enough, so that they they can serve a lot of people. So um, basically, um, we were lined up from one o'clock to um, one thirty to four. We left at four, and um, I also ordered two cups of coffee, and the coffee doesn't have cream or sugar. However, um, when I was already outside the store and I'm waiting for my um, for my beverages. I have to wait extra 10 minutes um, just for them to prepare that coffee. So, and you know, being said, um, it's just black coffee that shouldn't take very long. 
So um, basically, I, we, I spend more time waiting there um, and not very um, satisfied with the, um, with the um, amount or the, um, the size and um, paid like um, a lot of money for not a whole lot of cheesecake. So yeah, so basically it's 7.5 for, um, for overall um, review of the Pablo cheesecake here in Edmonton, Alberta. Okay, see you guys later. And if you can check out my other videos about my online business, um, please do so and um, I'll see you guys later and please like and subscribe. Have a good day. <laughs> Let's just get Uncle Tetsu seriously. But I, I you know, I made um, Uncle Tetsu before. Yeah. Yeah, that's why she said um, it's like creme put it in the fridge because this one is supposed to be hard. Oh, it was um salt. It was whoa, thanks. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that's, okay, that's okay. That's okay. Let's okay. finish it. Let's it's enjoy it. Oh my God. <laughs>